Hey, 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 guys. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. It's Juanita Coley, the Contact Center Whisperer. I'm super, super excited to bring you this video today because today we are talking about all things employee experience. So EX. So you guys know, all right, let's get into it. Okay. <laughs> you all are guys already know that I am known for saying when we are talking about customer experience, CX, right, that if you do not have a EX program, an employee experience program, then your CX program is probably trash. Now, I know that that's a bit much, right? But I think that we have to really lean into that and lean into what that really means, right? And what I'm really trying to articulate is, listen, in order to best serve your customers, we have to best serve our employees. And so one of the features that I absolutely love that companies are taking more and more advantage of every day is the ability to assist agents on the phone live in the moment. And so you have multiple ways that you can do that. You can do uh, that via barge features, right? So, well, let's, let's back up a little bit, right? Before you even barge in, right? We can just listen in. We can listen. The supervisor can listen in to a call and say, let me see if, you know, this, you know, what's going on on the call, right? If they want to uh, barge in, or whisper something to the agent, they have that ability as well. And then finally, if they need to barge in and take over the call altogether, then they have that option as well. So it's layers to this, right? Making sure that we are empowering our employees, not only the agent, but the supervisor, equipping them with the tools to make sure that they have what they need to be able to best uh, service their employees and help their employees so that their employees can best service the customer. And so when we think about being able to listen real time to what's going on on the on the phones or with the interaction, being able to whisper to be able to offer assistance to the agent, that is powerful. And then finally, being able to barge and, you know, completely take over the call if needed. And so one company that does this that I absolutely love the ability that they're able to do is Dialpad. So I'm going to hop in. We actually leverage this and I'm going to hop in. I'm going to show you how this works. So what you're probably looking at right now is my screen. OK, so we're in a dummy environment and you see that we have someone on the phones. And so we are going to listen in and see what's going on. So let's do that. So I'm going to click on view call. And so you can see I'm viewing the call and you can see real time transcription is going on right now. So I can see what they're talking about if I just wanted to read what was going on. That's what's happening right now. A real time transcript is transcribing the call. Hmm. I was thinking about doing some cabbage tonight, but I don't know if I want to uh, want to, uh, you know, so this is pretty cool stuff. This is amazing, 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 amazing stuff. So you guys know I get excited about this. Okay, so cool. I'm going to hit this listen in button. You know, it's usually like a taco or Mexican or either on Chipotle. Oh, yeah. I was like, Tuesdays, we always eat in on Tuesdays. Wednesdays, so we usually I am do listening like, in live right now, guys. Uh, well, I don't really have anything on Wednesdays. It's usually Thursdays. Thursdays are usually like leftover day from like everything during the week. And then we eat out on Fridays. And yep, you can see here that I never I have, know what to cook on Mondays and Wednesdays. I'm like, it ain't but four days out the week. I have this I never whisper know which, feature that I could whisper to, to the agent. Oh, Juanita well, just got on a call. I think she's jumping on our call now. Okay. Hold on. It says on a call, but I don't know if she's on our call or if she's. Can you hear me, Maisha? Hey, I can hear you now. <laughs> so you can hear me, but the caller, I don't believe, can hear me. And that's exactly what I wanted to show. Can the caller hear me? Mom, can you hear Juanita talking right now? I cannot. 
Oh, okay. So yeah, she can't hear you, but I can hear you, Juanita. And that's because I'm leveraging this whisper feature, right? So this is a feature where if you were giving information live to your mom, say you were telling her how to cook something and you were like, you remember that movie where I think it was, uh, he had like a little, uh, earbud in his ear. He was on a date and they were whispering to him and like, oh yeah, the Mona Lisa. <laughs> and they were telling him everything that they need, he needed to say on the date. Well, that's the same thing. I could do that on this call. So tell your mom oh. what you're having for dinner tonight is going to be, uh, uh, let's see, what do we want for dinner? We want pork chops. Mom, what we're going to have for dinner tonight is pork chops. Cabbage. <laughs> Cabbage. Oh. Cornbread. Cornbread. I don't know, I'm feeling really you hungry. You just get the um, check from Travis. <laughs> <laughs> see, she doesn't know what's going on. She and has so, no idea what's happening right now. <laughs> I'm so going to. That's, that's I, just what you come up with. <laughs> There's another feature <laughs> that I'm going to listen I'm going to barge in on the call. Listen. So then okay. she'll be able to hear me. Okay. Okay. Hey, mom, can you hear me? Yes. Amazing. <laughs> We're testing out features. So oh, cool. I was listening in earlier. My name is Juanita Coley. So I was listening in earlier. Hi, how are you? I am good. How are you? All is well. So we're testing out and playing with technology. Uh, and so I was showing my Isha how I could listen into a call. And so that's what was happening earlier. And then I was whispering in her ear so she could hear me, but you couldn't hear me because I was giving her assistance, right? I was telling her, oh, we're going to have pork chops tonight for dinner. We're going to have cabbage. We're going to have this and that. So that's what she was listening to me say that and repeating that back to you. <laughs> uh, you know, I was kind of trying to figure out, you know, where is this coming from? We didn't talk about this. <laughs> she was getting real time assistance on the call. And then what happened was I was able to hit the feature barge, which means I can now interject live on the call. So kind of three different layers to some custom, real, real neat customer service experience uh, features. Oh, cool. I like it. Isn't that so cool? Yes. All right, ladies. Well, I'm going to return to listening and then I'm probably going to drop off. So enjoy your evening. Thanks so much for taking the time to talk with me. Absolutely. Thanks, Juanita. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. So, Mom, the, yeah, yeah, I have no yeah. idea what we're going to do. How cool is that? Okay, so I barged in, listened to a call, was able to provide Maisha with some assistance on, hey, say this, say this, you're going to have this for dinner. The person on the caller on the line had no idea what was going on. Like, what are you talking? What are you laughing about? If Maisha wasn't laughing, she would have never knew what was going on. And then I was able to actually so not only was I able to listen in to kind of get context around what was happening on the call, which the call is still going on, by the way. So you can see my screen here and this call is still going on. So if I come here and click on call centers, I can see that she's still on the call. We have some positive sentiment going on. So there's a lot of laughter going on. So it's a positive call. And if I again, click on the call, it's been happening 12 minutes and, and 55 seconds. If I click view call, they're still on the call having a grand time. And I am the supervisor. I feel like, you know, oh, wow, this is a great call. I was able to listen in, offer real time assistance to my agent. She felt like she had what she needed to take the call. And the customer also felt empowered. They felt like they got, you know, this immaculate service. So imagine the power of that. When we talk about employee experience or when we talk about customer experience, you really need to have a solid employee experience program. And this is just the ground level, right? This is just when we talk about company culture and we talk about all of these different things, it's not just here, but this is a great start. All right. So I hope that you learned something in this video. Thank you so much for taking the time uh, to listen in this video. If you have questions, make sure that you reach out. I would love to talk to you more about how you can build out your employee experience programs so that they can be the core and the fundamental piece of building out your customer experience program. Until next time, guys. See you later. Bye. Yeah.